Okay, so what started out as something that was super, super exciting has kind of turned into a disaster, in my opinion. And in this video, we're going to talk about why I feel like this is one of the most scumbag moves that Bandai has ever pulled in the history of this game. I mean, they have done some pretty shady stuff in the past, some pretty questionable things in the past, but this might be near the top of that list. So uh, some quick backstory for those of you that don't know exactly what's going on. A few days ago, after the Tanabata Celebration data download, we got some leaks on Twitter telling us that we are probably going to be getting a new stage that gives a 100% chance to increase link levels. So essentially, if you bring a team of like units with all level nine links, then all of them would get their links maxed out after a single run on this stage, which is huge, right? That's, that's insane. That would save so much time. And we didn't know at the time exactly how this stage could be accessed. We saw these purple keys in the data download and people thought maybe you could get these keys through like a Purunga wish or through missions or something to that effect, right? Something that anybody could access. But earlier today, we found out that instead of being free to play, this is going to be a fully pay to play feature or even pay to win, if you want to call it that. I'm not really sure if that's the correct term, but it's definitely pay to play because there is no way for people, as far as we know right now, to get these keys through any free to play measures. They are locked behind stone packs, which are available for purchase supposedly once per month. Okay, so here's a quick preview of what would happen if you brought a full team of level 9 link units into the stage. Every single link, every single unit, as you can see, has become fully maxed out from level 9 to level 10. And that's just crazy. If you did this just through conventional methods like running 23.8 or auto running stage 8.9 or whatever stage you like to use for link farming, it would take literally days if not weeks if not months to accomplish something like this, right? But now, if you purchase the purple keys and you run this stage, you can do it in, I would assume like under a minute, maybe a little bit longer depending on how hard the uh, stage is, but it's probably not gonna be too hard. So it's gonna be very, very quick, literally like a minute or a couple of minutes versus weeks of grinding to max out all the links for a full team of units, right? So um, it really sucks, it really sucks. And this is coming from the perspective of a fully pay to play player. As you guys know, I'm okay with spending money on this game, but I'm not okay with Bandai locking features like this um, you know, from free-to-play players because I just think it's not fair. You know, I'm okay with paying this, right? But like, not everyone has the ability to, not everyone wants to spend money on the game. And a feature like this that saves so much time, um, I just feel like should be free-to-play or at least there should be a way for free-to-play players to be able to do it at least every once in a while, right? So, uh, by the way, a big shout out to Dokkan Assets for posting this. We also have the actual stone packs here. Um, as you can see, they're not super expensive. There are three different packs. So the first one is $1.83. I'm assuming these are in uh, US prices. $1.83 for five stones and five uh, keys. And then the second pack is, I think, $3.59 for seven keys and seven stones or something like that. And then, or is it 10 stones? Uh, yeah, it's 10 stones. Never mind. And then for the last pack, we have. 8 keys plus 15 stones for 535 or something to that effect. So in total, you're looking at about $11 plus tax, so maybe 12. And uh, you're getting uh, 15 keys, right? Or 20 keys, 20 keys. And it costs 5 keys per run. So you get 4 runs. What that means is you get 4 chances to max out 4 different teams. From level 9 to level 10 or you know if you're close maybe like 8 to 9 that's still a big difference right so um yeah uh it's a fully pay to play feature as far as we know right now maybe in the future they will give us a way to get these keys for free maybe you know five keys a month or something to that effect but if you are 
pay to play and you are okay with spending money on the game, you can literally buy this once per month, get four runs guaranteed once per month. And uh, how many stones is that? 30 stones on top of that, which is not nothing. It's actually not terrible. So I guess in conclusion, it's not a bad deal. <laughs> it's actually not a bad deal. 30 stones plus the four runs for like $12. I would take that any day of the week, but the issue is that free-to-play players don't have that option, and anything that makes the game more pay-to-win or more pay-to-play is obviously something that I'm very against, that you should be against as well, and um, it's just kind of rough. It's just kind of rough. I mean, I was fully expecting this to be free-to-play. I thought it'd be like, you get one run for every Purunga wish you made, there are three sets of wishes, right? So. If you like chose that wish for the keys every single time, you would get three runs guaranteed or something to that effect. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the case right now. It doesn't seem to be the case. It seems to be a fully pay to win kind of thing. And um, maybe you guys have some different opinions, right? Maybe you feel like it's not a big deal. Maybe you think, um, you know, it, it's fine for them to do this. And I'm open to all opinions. I'm open to you know, any thoughts that you guys have about this, so definitely let me know in the comments down below, but as I said, man, anytime the game becomes more pay to win or more pay to play, uh, it's just something I can't get behind, you know? So uh, I guess the purpose of this video is to, number one, just let you guys know how exactly this new guaranteed link level stage, this new guaranteed link level increase kind of thing is gonna work with the keys and the stone packs and uh, also give you guys my opinion about you know how I feel about this whole situation because a lot of people are I think justifiably upset um, if you are pay to play I mean that's totally fine right and you're entitled to you know spend your money how you want but you got to keep in mind that a lot of people that play this game are on the younger side they don't have access to credit cards or any means of you know buying things in the game and honestly I don't recommend people to spend money on the game anyways so uh, yeah, it just doesn't seem very fair. It doesn't seem very fair for something like this that uh, just saves so much time. It's just such a significant advantage um, for, for pay-to-play players to not be available for free-to-play players, you know? So that's, that's just how I feel about it. Maybe if I gave it some more thought, you know, maybe over time my opinion will change. But right now, I am not behind this. I, I don't love the fact that it's... Uh, pay to play feature now once again just to be clear we don't know all the details maybe there is a way for free to play players to get some of these runs as well without spending money but as far as we know at this very moment as of July 1st uh, 2022 it's it's pay to play you gotta buy these packs you gotta you know spend the money on the game and that's just never a good precedent to set you know so uh, I guess that's all there is to say, man, but, yo, looking at this image right here, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's very enticing, for sure, um, and, and like I said, man, you know, as a pay-to-play player, I would buy this every single time, you know, for the stones and for the, the keys. Like, I don't think it's a bad deal, per se, I just don't like the fact that it is something you have to buy, as opposed to, you know, grinding through missions to, you know, get a couple runs per, per month or whatever, something like that, right? So... Uh, let me know your opinions in the comments, guys. Let me know how you feel about it. I've given you my thoughts. I don't think they're going to change, but we'll see over time. And uh, hopefully, you know, if they didn't plan to make this f available to free-to-play players um, before, then the backlash in the community, you know, on social media and stuff like that will cause them to change their mind and, uh, you know, implement some kind of free-to-play measure as well for this stage because it is amazing like this is absolutely incredible to see so um that's all i gotta say guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media Signing out.